we have a group of volunteers in. Actually, six o'clock they come in and they um, bag the bags, as you can see in the background. And they spend three hours bagging bags. We do 1,400 food parcels of the, of the basic groceries for people who are in need. Well, it's all the basics, bread, butter, sugar, milk, tea bags, cooked ham, cooked chicken, um, beans, and then other food that is donated, whatever comes in during the week. The people that are coming are people that need them. We don't question people, so whoever comes gets a bag. It was fascinating during the bad snow when nobody was leaving their houses. It was a Wednesday and uh, we did up 500 food parcels, but we had to do an extra 500, so a thousand came in the very bad snow. So it's, it is badly needed. People wouldn't come out in that kind of weather if they didn't need it. It supplements whatever welfare they're on or whatever finances they have just to help them get through the week. We do baby food and nappies and baby wipes or whatever comes in. There is a huge need. It's very expensive, baby food and nappies. And if you're on social welfare or if you haven't got the finances, that, that's a huge chunk of money. So um, we have about 250 families coming every Monday now for baby food and nappies. No. There's no sense of it easing up. Um, like I started here two years ago and 550 would have been a manic day in the kitchen for dinner. And now that's a very quiet day. That's, that's, that's the reality. And we have much more families coming, with couples with children. And mainly it's because of the, the whole rental sector has gone out of control and people just can't afford rent and they're losing their houses and they, and they can't get back into the housing system. I don't know, I've never asked them what they think of the government. Um, in my own opinion, you hear from the government that they are working very hard on this, but it's bigger than what they're doing. It's coming quicker than what they can solve. Um, so therefore it needs to be ad addressed in a new way, in a very definite way, and um, building needs to start to happen. We don't actually fundraise, it's people, other people fundraise for us. We've never fundraised ourselves. People's generosity to us is unbelievable. Uh, we don't, we don't have any worry or anxiety about funding. Uh, we're a faith-based organisation, so bottom line is God will provide and does. Mm -hmm.